Peplink BR1 Mini is a great way to add cellular failover to an existing firewall or router that you're not looking to replace. This cellular connection can help out with out-of-band management, remote user access, or any other type of inbound traffic. As a prerequisite, you'll need a public static IP from your cellular provider. Without a public static IP, you'll receive an IP that's behind what's called a carrier grade NAT or CG NAT. That will prevent any inbound traffic. Here, let's look at IP pass-through, a feature that takes that IP address and passes it along to the firewall so that any traffic destined for the public IP is sent to the firewall without interference from the Peplink router. Using the information from the router dashboard, we can see that we have a cellular IP as well as our LAN network here. Without IP pass-through, what we would have here is the WAN IP of the cellular router, 10.216.239.188. And the firewall would be handed an IP such as 192.168.50.1.1.1. What we want, though, is for the firewall to terminate this IP address. To accomplish that, from the cellular settings, we need to select IP pass-through. We'll select OK. Scroll down, save and apply those changes. And now our IP address of 10.216.239.188 will be handed to the first LAN client that requests DHCP. Considering no other LAN clients are on the network at the time, our firewall will take the 10.216.239.188 address. The peplink will still be accessible through in control 2 and as well as from the LAN network if you statically set a PC or laptop within the 192.168.50.0/24 range. If this helped you, please leave us a like and if you have a feature or setting you'd like to see highlighted, let us know in the comments below.